Hi, my name's Patty. I work in the science department with your teacher. Today we're going to talk about concept maps. Concept maps are a way for us to organize what we already know about a topic. And one of the best things about concept maps is that they can all look different. Mine represents what I know and yours will represent what you know. There are different ways that we can create concept maps. Sometimes we'll use concept maps at the beginning of a unit, sometimes in the middle, sometimes at the end. Occasionally, we'll add to our concept map that we started at the beginning of a unit as we learn more and more about a topic. Let me show you the basics of setting up a concept map. So I have my science notebook here, just like you, and I have my pencil. In our very first concept map, I want to keep things simple. So I'm going to deal with a topic that I know some things about. Candy. So one way to make a concept map is to take your main topic and write it right in the middle of your page and then put a circle around it. And then I'm going to start to think, what do I know about candy? And I'm going to get those ideas down on paper. So I know that candy has sugar. I know that there are fruity kinds of candy and chocolate kinds of candy, right? And now that I have these words down, I want to start to think about how they're connected. And so I know that all candy has sugar, right? I can have fruity candy, I can have chocolate candy, now I'm gonna to start to think a little bit more about these offshoots of my main topic. So when I think of fruity candy, I think of, okay, there can be sweet candy, there can be sour candy, and I'm always using my arrows to connect my ideas. I'm gonna come over to chocolate and I know that there are different kinds of chocolate candy. There can be dark, chocolate, there can be milk chocolate, and there can be white chocolate. I'm coming back to this idea of sugar, and I think maybe I can connect it even more so here, right? Because those kinds of candy have sugar. And there's a simple concept map for what I know. Probably I could add some more, but you get the idea for now. Let me show you that so you can get a good look at the finished product. Okay, so this is one way to make a concept map, but there are others. Let me show you another example. I was thinking about Earth's interior And I decided that my concept map should be more kind of like a line with the label at the top this time instead of the center. And I thought about the crust and the mantle, the outer core and the inner core. And I did, went a little bit further on this concept map. I added some words to the arrows. I added rocky to the arrow above crust and I added hot magma to the arrow above mantle because I knew a little bit more. So that's another way you could do a concept map. Sometimes you may want to use colored pencils in the creation of your concept map like I did in this one with the water cycle. And you can see this one because of that word cycle, I felt like I wanted to kind of show that circular motion there. And so I have my processes that I remembered about water cycle, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, collection, and I've organized them in kind of that circular motion. And I like my colored pencils. They help me with my thinking. So those are 
some different types of concept maps that you may use this year. We're going to take a look at a few more on the next slides, and then you're going to practice your own. Bye!